I hope you are well and having a really lovely day today. So today I'm doing a video which is kind of quite highly requested. If you do have any other like requested videos you want me to do, let me know in the comments. This is a Beauty and the Beast slash Belle collection video. Beauty and the Beast is my joint favourite Disney film along with The Lion King. Weirdly I don't really have much Lion King stuff but I absolutely love the film. I have done I think from when I was a child. Belle is my absolute favourite princess. I completely relate to her. Some of you may have seen that I have a Belle corner in my room as I call it which is kind of over there and I'll show you all of that stuff as well. But I do have just in general quite a lot of Beauty and the Beast themed things that I'm going to share with you in this video. Anything I can find online I'll link in the description box below. First I'm going to start with clothing. A while ago Topshop did some Beauty and the Beast pyjamas and they've done a couple of different variations since then but in all honesty I don't really wear these very often because they're nowhere near as comfortable as my Primark pyjamas are. They have Belle and the Beast in the ballroom scene which is potentially my favourite scene from the film and then the bottoms have Lumiere and Mrs Potts and Chip but no Cogsworth on which I find quite weird. I have two tops from Primark that are specifically Beauty and the Beast theme. First one I got quite a while ago and to be honest I don't really wear it very often because it's kind of a bit annoying. Belle is kind of grabbing and when you wear it you can kind of see where I'm going. Sometimes wear it when I'm just slouching around at home but it's from the scene where Belle is going for the rose in the west wing and then a recent purchase which is still in Primark at the moment is this one which is grey and it says Taylor's old as time and it has Mrs Potts and Chip and Belle and the Beast on there. I have one more top which is actually from Disneyland Paris and I bought it on my most recent trip in March. However I bought a large and I definitely shouldn't have because it is so big. You may have actually seen this top kind of hanging around on the internet because what happened was I went out drinking with some friends in Paris and I left this top in the bar we were in and then all of the guys I was with, all three men, tried it on. So there are some pictures online if you do some searching of three men in various shapes and sizes trying on this top and I still haven't worn it. Belle and Beast in the dance ballroom scene again and I just really like it and there was no way I wasn't going to buy it. I have two other pieces of clothing that are both from Soft Kitty Clothing. First one is this skirt. Thomas Kinade, I think you say it, Prince got Belle and Beast on there. It's just so beautiful and it's just a stretchy kind of skater skirt. My other item is a dress and it is this stained glass dress I guess you'd call it. It's kind of like the stained glass window that they have in Be Our Guest and it has Belle and Human Beast, Adam, whatever you want to call him on there and I think there's a few other characters kind of floating around in there but it's just so beautiful. I love the vibrant colours. I loved wearing this in Orlando because it just looked good in pictures because it's so bright and colourful. Moving on to accessories, the first one I have to show you is a bracelet which I wear basically all the time. It is an Alex and Arnie bangle which I have two others of on the moment. One is like a standard one and one is a Lion King one. Chelsea, my friend, bought this for me when she went to Orlando like two-ish years ago I think and she gave it to me for my 20th birthday. It is a kind of golden bronze rose gold colour and it has Belle on there. They do these for most princesses I think and quite a lot of the characters but I absolutely adore it. It's like a subtle way to wear a little bit of Disney and I just think it's like the cutest thing. I had to buy the Belle magic band because I dressed up as Belle for my Halloween party trip and the red magic band I had didn't really go so I wanted to get the Belle one and it was just nice to have and it's just yellow obviously and it has roses on it and then if you turn it round there is Belle on there and I will take it back with me if I ever go back to Disney World hopefully one day and it's just so cute. I think it was around 20-ish dollars. Something really cute I wanted to share is my Gaston hairband bow which is from my friend Holly who has an Etsy store called Where Seams Come True. She made me a Belle hair clip but sadly it got broken but I still have my Gaston hair bow. I think it's very very cute and if you're into Disney bound and all that stuff this is a great way to add to your Disney bound. Obviously I can't do this video without including my Queen Ursula ears. I get a stupid amount of questions about these. I've done a whole video where I unboxed these ears and all the other ears from her I have. I absolutely am obsessed with them. I wear them every Disney trip I go on. I've loved wearing them and meeting Belle and Beast and Gaston as you may have seen in my vlogs and I just think they're so special and unique but they're just the cutest things. They're so well made and sparkly and so much fun. I have this canvas of Belle. My friend Sophie bought this for me for my birthday present I believe last year and it's from Disneyland Paris and I was actually going to buy it for myself but then she bought it for me which I was so chuffed with because I think it's so sweet and they do these for other princesses as well. I don't really have much Gaston stuff or much B stuff. Most of my stuff is obviously Belle related but I do have this little postcard which my friend Dee gave me in Disneyland Paris. I just think it's very cute. It says chilling like a villain on it and I also have this birthday card which I've kept from my 21st birthday last year. It has my name on the bottom. She got it from a local card shop in our local high street. It's just the most beautiful card I've ever had and it came in a matching bag and I'm just so chuffed with it and I will 100% will keep this forever. I have 
three Beauty and the Beast themed cups. The first one is this goblet, which is from Be Our Guest, the restaurant in Disney World Orlando. I got this in the restaurant on our first trip, and I'm so glad I did because on our second trip, they didn't have any. I think I paid for this without the drink, which is what you can do with all of the three cups I have. They do come with drinks, but if you want to have them without the drinks or you want to have the drinks separate to the cups, they'll do that for you. So I think I paid around $14 for this. I just use this to keep like hairbrushes and like odds and weird bits in and it's not overly Beauty and the Beast decorated it's kind of just like general princess stuff. As for cups I have two from Gaston's Tavern in New Fantasyland in the Bell area which is my favourite part of any theme park in the world. The first one is this gold kind of goblet I don't really know what to call it and it has the rose one side and it has Belle the other side they're not the most high quality they're just like plastic cups. The other one is like a beer tankard and it has Gaston on the front and then it has Le Fru how you say it on the back. I have a bell pen and I've never even used it but I bought it when I went to Orlando in 2013. I don't want to talk too much about pins because one day I will probably do a pin video all about the pins I have but I have pins in this little bag which I bought from Orlando and I kind of have a few Beauty and the Beast themed ones. I have this one which was limited edition at Christmas last year. This one is Disney Dreams from Disneyland Paris because there is a Lumiere Be Our Guest fit. These two I traded for and this one I bought from Paris and this one I bought in Orlando and it's like the Enchanted Towers of Bell attraction. I have one beast pin on his own, it was the only one I could find so if you ever see any more beast pins let me know. And then I have two Gaston pins, this one was limited edition in Disneyland Paris last year and this one is a general one again that I just bought in Orlando. Something I'm obsessed with is a cushion that I bought in Disney World on my trip last year and one side it says Taylor's Oldest Time and the other side it says Be Our Guest and I have another one as well which is Cinderella themed. I keep them on my bed and they're so lovely and squishy and comfortable and actually one of my favourite purchases from Orlando they do so many different types of these. Walgreens, which is an American drugstore collection that they did for Beauty and the Beast. They've done a few collections for all the different princesses, but my best friend Amber, who I went to Orlando with, you'll know her from my vlogs, she got this stuff shipped over and I basically cried when I opened it. I've still not used barely any of it because I'm too scared to. It came with a selection of makeup bags. I'm going to show you three of them because two of them are clear, so you can't really see much. The first one is just like this and it has obviously Belle on there and it says her name. It's like a wristlet kind of clutch bag and it's Belle and Beast. I keep this in my handbag and it has like paracetamol, tablets, wires, chargers, everything handy that I need to keep tidy goes in this bag. Adam, if you want to call him Adam or Human Beast on it and they're dancing right at the end of the film and you've got like Human Mrs Potts and Chip and everyone over there, Cogsworth, Lumiere and Maurice. And then for actual makeup I have this which is beautiful. It's by Elf who did the collection with Walgreens and it is the Belle beauty book the enchanted tale beauty book i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i haven't used it because i'm too scared if you open it up it says for beauty is found within and has a mirror and then you have all of the makeup in there and all of the products are named after characters Belle when she's in her blue dress and Belle in her ball gown but this is just so lovely and I will use it one day I just love it too much to use it at the moment if that makes any sense I also have the Enchanted Tail eyeshadow compact I don't want to use it and waste it or break it or have something happen to it just decided to not use it instead which is probably not wise and then lastly I have four of the lip balms from that collection first I have the Pleasant Peach which is the Mrs Potts one the red one which is Royal Rose, Strawberry Spell which has Belle and Beast on, Luminous Lemon which has Lumiere on. Actually a gift from a subscriber who came and met me at the O2, Wassi, and he bought me this Belle mug which I just love so much. I've seen this in the Disney store loads, I was gonna buy it and then he gave it to me which is so kind of him so thank you so much because I use it all the time. I also have a Beast in the Bath Christmas ornament which I was given by a subscriber Deb so thank you so much Deb I don't have it to show you in hand but here is a picture of it because it's all packed up for Christmas stuff I also have a bell hanging ornament like just bell in her gold dress but that's in the Christmas stuff which is in the loft so I can't get that to show you the other thing that I can think of to talk about which I can't show you as such is my dress I went to the Disneyland Paris Halloween soiree and I decided that obviously I was going to go dressed as Belle I had a dress made by Danny from Two Stitch in Time she was just starting a business so we got in contact with each other and she made me this dress and it was the first time she'd ever made a dress which I thought was incredible because I think it's stunning and I really wish I had an opportunity to wear it in my everyday life and I felt 
quite like a princess when I wore it that night and there was children that genuinely thought I was the real Belle and it was just so special so I wanted to include that in this video as well. Make sure you go and check out her Facebook page and if you ever need anything commissioned or you're into cosplay get speaking to her because she is so talented. Now I'm going to show you everything that I keep in my Belle corner as to call it. When I first moved into this house with my nan she wasn't very keen on Disney, she still isn't but she didn't really want me showing it too much but over time she's become more lenient and it started with my corner of the room where I had some Disney stuff and over time it's kind of become not a shrine because I don't like that word because it makes me sound probably sadder than it is but just a collection of some of my most favourite Beauty and the Beast themed things that I have. The first thing I ever got that started off my corner of Belle stuff is this print which is from the brand Spineless Classics and they do all of these kind of prints in different books and films. The background of this print is the story, the original like non-Disney book I believe and then obviously it has the rose and I guess I don't know if you say that's Beast's Claw or Belle's Hand but I think it's lovely. It's such a subtle way to have a bit of Disney in my room even though my room isn't subtle anymore but I absolutely adore it and I will keep this forever. I also have this souvenir from my trip to Orlando which I got when I was in Enchanted Tales with Belle. You only get these if you participate in the attraction if you know what I mean or if you meet Belle so it's a bookmark and it says you'll always be a part of my favourite story with her signature on it. Then I have this postcard from Disneyland Paris from one of my close friends Ray who works there and she gave this to me for my birthday and on the back it says Princess Belly and it says a little happy birthday message from her. Moving on to the ornaments that I have in the corner of my room. The first one is this one which was actually on top of my 21st birthday cake. My nan said that when she ordered my cake they asked her if she wanted the rip-off bell ornament or the official Disney bell cake topper and she said that if she'd ordered the not official one I'd probably have not been very happy so this was on top of my 21st birthday cake. I also have this bell which was from a subscriber Katie who I met in Disneyland Paris at Halloween and then I have one of my favourite things which is a bell shoe ornament. I think it's supposed to be like a Christmas tree decoration but I just keep it out in my room because I think it's quite different. It's obviously a representation of Belle in a shoe and it has Belle's autograph on the bottom as well but they do these for all the different princesses. I have two Jim Shaw Disney traditions figurines. The first one is Belle in her blue dress and this was a birthday present last year from a subscriber and friend Claire who I've known from doing YouTube and blogging for a very long time. She sent me this for my birthday which was so kind of her. It's called the Beautiful Belle figurine and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I also have this one which is Belle in her gown which was from Chelsea for my 20th birthday I believe. And she's holding Chip which I think is so sweet and I love this kind of pattern along the bottom. This one is called the Curious and Kind model. The last three things I have to show you in this video from my crazy collection are probably my favourite things. I just am obsessed. I think it's such a good idea that Disney have done this and I hope they do more not just from Beauty and the Beast but from all different films. I just think they're such a good idea and I'm sure some of you will have seen these before or have them yourself. The first one is Lumiere and the thing I love about these is they're so lifelike, like it genuinely is Lumiere. When I saw him in Orlando, I was like yeah I'm 100% buying this. They do sell this in Paris as well, he's always in Paris, he's easy to get there. I think he's around 59 euros and 60 dollars in America but he is actually a working light which I think is so sweet. You can turn him on and he flickers, I don't know if you can see it on the video but he does flicker and he's just so lovely. I think he's so realistic and it's like he could like burst into song at any second. I also have Chip which is just the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. He is a mug but I will never drink out of him. I could never do that to him. This was sent to me by one of my subscribers Rachel who is the nicest nicest lady but they didn't have Chip in stock the whole time I was there. He actually came back into stock like a week later which is very frustrating and they don't sell Chip in Disneyland Paris which is a shame but I just love him and he has a little chip as well which I think is so sweet but Rachel I still owe you so much for getting this for me because I was just so upset when I couldn't get him and I think he's the cutest thing. I think he is 19.95. He's a good size for a mug but I don't think I'd ever be able to drink from him. He's too cute. Oxworth is my last one to show you. He is just amazing as well. So realistic and it's like he's going to tell you off or do a bad pun if you just keep looking at him. This is the second Cogsworth clock I've had. The first one kind of broke a little bit. The clock hand stopped turning which was fixable but when I emailed Disney about it they sent me a new one. Do be careful if you get these because they are very fragile. Like he's a very well made handcrafted thing. I don't know how to explain it so if you do get one be very careful because they are quite delicate. I 
absolutely love him. He tells the time, he's a real clock, and the pendulum does swing as well. A little bit of black adhesive felt inside where the pendulum hits and you won't get that ticking noise that it makes, which is very, very loud. But him, Lumiere and Chip are three of my most prized possessions and I just think they're amazing. So that is my whole Beauty and the Beast collection, I think. I hope I haven't forgot anything. I'm sure my collection will grow over time, so maybe in a year I can do an update for you. I know it probably does seem like quite a lot of stuff, and you're probably thinking that my room looks like the Disney store. It doesn't really. It's mostly quite subtle, apart from the corner of my room, which is kind of dedicated to Beauty and the Beast. Just love the film, and I really enjoy that I can have merchandise and clothing and things that kind of represent it whether it's subtle like a bracelet or full-on like a dress or something that I can keep in my room. Let me know if you have any of these things and what you think whether you think I'm crazy for having this much Beauty and the Beast stuff or whether you're the same whether it's with this film or a different film or Harry Potter or something completely different but thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video it would mean the world if you could subscribe if you're not already that makes my day and please leave me a comment and hit the thumbs up button. Everything that I can list below I will do for you in the description box and all my social media is there as well so you can come and say hello thank you for watching guys and i'll see you very soon bye